All right, guys, let's try something a little bit different. Um, I went to two different Dollar Trees today, and I spent somewhere around 120 some odd dollars today on inventory. And I've got a couple odds and ends of items for Amazon. So I'm going to go through my phone and record there. So it, it's going to be a little weird on the video, but I'm going to show you the how I list items for Amazon FBA at least the listing part and then you just go back into your back office and then uh, switch it over to FBA. It's actually really easy. I'm sure you could figure it out, but it's really easy. So let's just go ahead and dive into it. Okay. So I just spent like the last 45 minutes to an hour doing all this, talking to you guys for a while. And then all of a sudden I realized it didn't record that. It, I know it started recording, but I went through all of this, and it just wasn't recording. And it's like, um, oh god. So, yeah, I got all this stuff listed. I got a few more items that I got off to the side because I already have in my inventory. Uh, let's see here. Where is the start? Because I have mass quantity. Okay. Nope, I'm actually out of stock because, yeah, I already sold out. But I've got more now. Uh, sold out of that. Where is the... No, sold out of that. I think that's the first one that I started with. No, I already had that one and that one's already sold out. Okay, uh, that one's already sold out. Uh, that one I have, I actually have it listed as Merchant Fulfilled until I send it into Amazon. So this is going to go in my next shipment. So that's where the start is. Uh, I've got 11 of these. They're going to be going off to Amazon. I've got so many of these items. I think I've got four of these. Now... Some of these, the fees are a bit high, but at the same time, the rank is so low, it's it'll sell fast and you'll get your money back fast. You don't even have to worry about paying storage fees. I've got six of this one. Uh, I have three of this one. There's none FBA. No, wait, there's one FBA, but it's Amazon listing, and it's, they're asking $30, so I figure I will beat them by the penny. $29.99 is a little easier for some people to swallow than $30 even. I've got four of these. Was it four or five? I can't remember. Yeah, rank is low, but it, it's a fast seller. It's in the top 5%. Uh, this one, I've got six of these. I, I was really happy to get that. I think it was in the top 1%, if I remember correctly. Uh, I've got three of these. Because I don't know if I can show you right... Does this pop up easily? Yeah, right... I don't know if you can see that highlighted right there, but there's the price, there's your fee. And I'm sure you guys are smart enough how to do the math. Uh, I've got two of these. Yeah, I keep forgetting that screen recorder doesn't like to record after like 45 minutes. Uh, I've got four or five of these. Uh, listen to the lambs. I've got two of these. Not a whole lot, but I will take what I can get. Um, Natural Born Heroes. I've got two or three of these. I can't remember. And I've got two boxes full right now, so I'm, I'm not even going to try and go back through. Uh, I've got two of these. My daughter actually said, Look, Daddy, dragon! 
It's like, okay, okay, I, I'll look, and hey, that, uh, I'll take that. When it comes to books, I try to stick with rank under a hun under 1 million. Because under 1 million is still the top 10% uh, in books. Uh, there's not a lot of profit in these, but I've got six of these. So, because I think it was, rank was like a thousand or something. It, it was super low. Uh, I've got four of these. I was happy to get that. Uh, only had one of these. Let's see here. Sonic Underground Queen Alina's Chronicles. I might change that price later. I don't like $15 even. You know what? Let's, can I do that here? Yes. Yes, I can. Uh, Clash of the Titans, Blu-ray. I think I've only got one of those. This one I got just because it was Scooby-Doo and Kiss. I mean, seriously, Kiss. Yes, I am getting it just to send that in. And yes, I am so old school, I do remember the Kiss movie. Sure, some of you guys remember that. Uh, I've got two of these. The rank was actually pretty decent. Uh, Banicula. I've only got one of those. And some of these, the profit margin isn't much, but you're at least getting double, if not triple, your money back. Uh, middle School Worst Years of My Life DVD. Another Super Mario Brothers DVD. This is a Walmart exclusive. Yeah, I, 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 there, there, I've got a few Walmart exclusive DVDs here. Uh, I think I've got one, maybe two. Uh, high Roller. I've got two of these. Uh, walking out DVD, uh, guy, I'm gonna say I have one, because I honestly don't remember. Big Bang Theory Season 4. Uh, Need for Speed, Xbox 360, I actually got this one at Goodwill. Paid, uh, three dollars for it. Right, Passage. There we go. Couldn't hit it for some reason. Uh, I've only got one of those. This one is a wrestling DVD, but hey, still decent profit. I'm not going to read it just because YouTube doesn't like people swearing, so I'm, I'm just going to let you read that one yourself. Uh, I've got two of these. The rank was actually really, really good. Uh, Rodney Yee's Yoga. Those, Whenever you find a Rodney Yee Yoga, t stop and take a look. Because if you can sell DVDs on Amazon, that one's actually a good one most of the time. Sometimes they're not, but most of the time, Rodney Yee's Yoga from Gaim is actually a good, a good seller. I hope I'm pronouncing Gaim right. So if not, please forgive me. Uh, Contiki. I've only got one of those. It's the wrong time of year, but we're only like a couple months out from Valentine's Day. So I'm, I'm still going to go ahead and send in Clifford the Big Red Dog DVD. Yeah. $20? Yeah, I'll send that in. Uh, 
Jingle All the Way, that was uh, Larry the Cable Guy. We only got one of that one. Nature Congo DVD. Uh, I think I've only got one of those. I might have two, but I think I've only got one. Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. I've only got one of those. Band Slam DVD. I've only got one of those. Uh, Wild Deep DVD. I've got two of those. I was really happy to find that one. Pilots for Pink Workout DVD. I've got one of those. Uh, Citizen Soldier Blu-ray. I think I've got two of them. Cut Bank DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, I've got one. Oh, it's actually right here on top. I'm almost done. Uh, yeah, I've only got one of those. Oh, I am done because this was the last one. Uh, Entourage DVD. I have one. Yep, just one. So yeah, I went through for like an hour going through my entire listing of all these items that I'm sending in. And when I was finally done, it's like, oh God, it didn't record any of that. So I was sitting here for an hour talking to myself. It's like, why? Okay, where, where, where's the video? I'm done. Where, where, where is it? I'm looking in my phone. Where is it? Oh God. It's not there! So, yeah. That's why I had to go back through. It was like, hey guys, this is what I've got here. And yeah. Oh, look, here's my receipt. See? Yeah. So, yeah, between two Dollar Trees, I spent like a hundred and... Let's see here. Uh, One store, I spent $60.99. If you can see that clearly. If it'll focus... That's one, and the other store is $66.34. Yeah, a whole bunch of stuff for Amazon. It's always good to send in more. I've actually been, I let my Amazon account go. I've actually been trying to work at building it back up. If it had recorded, you guys would have been seeing my sales and what stuff has been selling for. Yeah, no, that didn't that didn't work. But all right. So yeah, that is I hope that helps some of you. I know it is a lot of DVDs, but there is a ton of books at Dollar Tree that you can just go in, you can scan, you can figure out if you've been doing Amazon long enough, you know what the numbers to look for, and there's a lot of books that one, there might not be a lot of profit, but two, they will sell fast. So at the, I think most of the books I send in, I'm paying storage fee for like one month. Just because I try to stick with a rank under a million. Sometimes I'll go a little bit higher depending on if the price is right. But yeah, I usually try to stick with under a million. So, all right, I hope that helps some of you. So don't forget, like, subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them down below.